let's turn this plain, boring light switch into something funky and fun. We're going to clean it really well. Make sure there's no oil or grease on it or fingerprints. Wipe it down with a soapy cloth, a 120 grit sanding block, and then wipe it down again and we're ready to go. I have some really fun scrapbooking paper that I'm going to use for this, so I'm just going to cut it out a little bit bigger than the light switch. And because scrapbooking paper is so hard to work with, I'm going to show you how you can make it thinner and easier to work with. You're just going to take some packing tape and adhere it to the back of the scrapbooking paper and cover the whole back of the piece of paper. Overlap your tape so you make sure you get it covered completely and press it down really firmly. I'm going to use a little uh, card that I have to press the tape right into the paper. This process is going to remove some of the extra paper off the back so it's easier to work with and you're just going to really carefully just peel away that tape and you can see that layer of paper come right off. This will make the scrapbooking paper a lot easier to decoupage with and it'll be easier to bend around corners and it will sit smoother on your project. And if you find that it's still a little bit thick, you can even do it again. I'm going to do the water technique and you have to put your paper on a piece of plastic, put it upside down, and then completely soak it with water. These plastic sleeve paper protectors work perfect for this project. Make sure you get your paper completely wet. I've let the water soak in for about 30 seconds and now I'm just taking a cloth and I'm just dabbing up all that excess water that was laying on the plastic sleeve and the paper. And I'm going to be using my Mod Podge mat and I'm going to put a coat over the entire light switch. Make sure you get it all over the corners and the edges really well. Now you're just going to pick up that plastic sleeve with the scrapbooking paper on it and just center it right over your light switch. Make sure that it's even and press it down firmly. Get all the wrinkles and all the bubbles out of it. Press it all around the corners and make sure it's sticking really well to that Mod Podge. And then I like to just use the card just to press it down firmly. Now I'm going to just take my scissors and cut into each corner so I can fold them into the center of the light switch. Apply some Mod Podge and then just flip it over and make sure it sticks really well. And if you have the little corners that are too long, just snip them with your scissors. Folding these pieces in are going to make it look nice and crisp when it's all finished. I know all you crafters have all kinds of little bits and pieces of scrapbooking paper in your craft rooms or in your home. Get creative and you can do every light switch and maybe electrical plate in your house. I have a full tutorial of how I do this water method Mod Podge and I made a sign that goes a little bit more in depth if you're interested. I'll put the link up above and down below in the description and after you watch this video you can head over and check it out. Now I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and just cut it out and then fold the edges down into the inside and make it nice and crisp and clean lines too. And it's all finished we are going to let it completely dry. And I'm ready to put the top coat on. I'm using a polycrylic sealer in a matte finish. I find it's really durable. And if you ever have to wipe it down and take off fingerprints, you can wipe it with a damp rag. You can also use Mod Podge if you want. I just prefer this sealer. It's all dry and we're ready to put it back up on the light switch and I love it. What a great way to add some funky fun decor to your room. I am loving it. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure you hit the like button and maybe you'll like this video or this playlist. If you have a chance, head over and check those ones out now. And I love new crafting friends, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.